Summary of Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell Outliers, according to Gladwell, are people who do not fit our conventional understanding of achievement because although not born extraordinary, talented or fortunate, they still manage to achieve a high level of success and greatness in their fields. Here are three of the most actionable lessons distilled from the book. Number one, success has a degree of opportunity. Gladwell criticises the notion of success being solely dependent on hard work by mentioning how certain opportunities, circumstances and hidden advantages play into the equation. On the role opportunities and hidden advantages play in the overall accumulation of success, Gladwell states, The people who stand before kings may look like they did it all by themselves but in fact they are invariably the beneficiaries of hidden advantages and extraordinary opportunities and cultural legacies that allow them to learn and work hard and make sense of the world in ways others cannot. It makes a difference where and when we grew up. Takeaway. Although the author acknowledges the vital role opportunity plays in the overall attainment of success, the opportunities Gladwell mentions do not relate significantly to chance, luck or fate. Instead, they attest to becoming deliberate about creating and pursuing opportunities that help you engage in deliberate practice. When you are deliberate about creating and tapping into opportunities, the higher your chances of mastery and success. So make sure to seize opportunities. Number two, with commitment, anyone can become an outlier. After researching the lives of outliers, Gladwell concluded that in addition to having good parentage, conducive life situations and circumstances, the right social background and talents to mention but a few, they also have another thing going for them. They practice intense commitment, so committed in fact that the author's research concluded that the people who achieve a great deal of success in their fields do so only after practicing their craft for 10,000 hours. On the 10,000-hour rule, Gladwell states that to achieve next-level success or mastery in any undertaken or chosen cause of action, you need to put in 10,000 hours of practice, with the effort directed to it being deep work. What the author calls deliberate practice. He observes, Success has to do with deliberate practice. The practice must be focused, determined, and in an environment where there's feedback. Takeaway. Gladwell believes 10,000 hours of deliberate practice will make you a master at any skill. Remember that enjoying the journey is extremely important, so you don't waste those 10,000 hours being miserable. Always find a balance in your life on focusing on future happiness and present happiness. Number 3. High IQ does not increase the chances of success. This book is Gladwell's rallying call against the widely accepted notion that significant accomplishments are a result of high IQ. He refutes this claim by noting that a high IQ does not matter as significantly as we have always thought it does. Instead, what matters the most is practical intelligence. On what practical intelligence is, Gladwell states, Practical intelligence includes things like knowing what to say to whom, knowing when to say it, and knowing how to say it for maximum effect. To argue why a high IQ does not explicitly lead to success, Gladwell relies heavily on research conducted in the early 20th century by Professor Lewis Madison Terman, one of the pioneers of educational psychology. After observing 1,500 children with an IQ level of 150 and above, Terman concluded that even though IQ has some amount of influence on your performance in life, anything above an IQ of 120 points has no significant impact on the attainment of success. Takeaway. IQ is not as important as we have made it out to be. If you have an average IQ, you can still achieve a great deal of success even outlier level achievement. Provided you commit to the 10,000 hours rule and engage in deliberate practice, as Gladwell notes, success is a function of persistence and doggedness and the willingness to work hard for 22 minutes to make sense of something that most people would give up on after 30 seconds.